say this a lot, but you'll notice that I don't review many recent horror movies. Copyright nightmares aside, the main reason is that the current state of horror just doesn't appeal to me much. Movies like The Strangers, Mother's Day, and now The Purge don't have anything that I find particularly entertaining. They go as far as to make me uncomfortable, but not in the way the filmmakers really intended, I don't think. So, why is that? Well, regular people as monsters can be seen every single day in tales so horrific you'll want to move to a log cabin on a deserted island in space. Give me possessed dolls and haunted houses and runaway security robots killing randy teens in a mall over regular people being terrorized by other seemingly regular people. Seeing situations like that play out in a film holds no entertainment value for me whatsoever. I mean, I don't even get the premise of The Purge. About 10 years into the future, America has gone goddamned crazy and created some kind of national murder holiday where for one 12 hour period, all bets are off and anyone can basically do whatever the hell they want. Most people barricade themselves in their houses. Others go out and murder their bosses, friends, hobos, etc. Because why not? It's legal. I do get that The Purge is supposed to be somewhat satirical, but of what exactly? Both ends of the political lunatic fringe? Neither side is ever going to come to power, and we're certainly never going to institute murder Christmas, so it's not a cautionary tale. I guess it's just one of those, hey, what if kind of situations that comes up when you're sitting around talking to your buddies. Ethan Hawke's family becomes targeted by millennial assholes looking to murder a homeless man during The Purge. A moment near the end of the film where Hawke goes medieval on several of their candy asses is satisfying, but the moment is short-lived. And when did Hawke become this guy, making nothing but horror movies and sequels to Before Sunrise? At least the family doesn't have some horrific backstory that gets even worse for them as the film goes on. That cliché not being used is appreciated. Writer-director James DeMonaco wrote 1998's The Negotiator, which was one of my favorite films of that year. He also wrote 1996's unfortunately terrible Robin Williams vehicle, Jack, so yeah. As I said, this genre doesn't appeal to me. I, I wish I was into it, but I'm not. This might be a fine movie, and I, I know it was pretty popular, but... I just don't get it. Ethan Hawk, you're the training day guy. Before sunrise, before sunset, before midnight. Oh, Ethan Hawk, you're the best dude in the whole wide world. And I like you. I said, 